to put a little video together uh, for you on how to use Pinterest effectively because I found out a few things since I've been um, not at work uh, just looking at different ideas so I'm going to put this into a narrated PowerPoint later but I just wanted to give you a few tips by going through everything that you can do on Pinterest. So this is a board I put together for year 10, it's called World Textiles, but I think it can be used for any any project really, It because it, it features lots of um, flowers and beautiful print ideas. So don't forget, you don't have to be confined by your design brief. It doesn't need doesn't necessarily mean that if you're doing decay, you can't look at different flowers and different print ideas um, or even landscapes. Everything can be used. Um, just looking down here, this this particular piece here, if you were if you were doing landscapes, for example, Stella, this dress lends itself really, really well and you could analyse this dress. So don't think that you just have to look at art or paintings. It can be structure, it can be any any different ideas um, that are inspirational to you. So you could look at this and then change the change the curves, change the lines, add different colours. Nice idea. So just going back into this, I found I found this here and I clicked on this because I really like that print design and um, it inspired me to do some prints at home, actually, which I'm going to show you in the PowerPoint later. But I just thought I was, if I was going to analyse this, how do I know about it? Who is it and, and, and where does it come from? So I clicked on this, really like this print idea, and then I went onto here clicked again and it turns out that this is part of a collection of magazines that have all been put together i think it's 1902 uh yeah 1901 here so the description based of 1901 and these are monthly issues of magazines that are all done by japanese artists and they were bound together and put into a book and what I really like about this is that you've got the you've got all the information down here, but I really like the fact that you've got like a little little sticker from the library here, and it tells you a bit about it um, on the first page. So if you go down here and you click right, obviously we can't read that unless you can read Japanese, but there we go. And then keep going through, and there's some absolutely incredible designs and prints in here that are really inspirational that I definitely would not have known about had I not clicked on the link and I think there's so much on Pinterest that you just look at those images and you don't click on the links but I've been using this quite a lot to inspire my own art and to think about how I might inspire year 10 students and I just thought it'd be really interesting to show you as well. So all of these lovely little print ideas you can do at home. They're so easy. You can use markers. You can use different watercolor pencils. I, I, you can get them on Amazon for three pound a set of watercolors. Um, you can use any of any drawing equipment you've got at home. So. And don't forget, if you're doing things like this, mixed media is a really good idea. So different washes. This is a collage idea, and I really like this because it's just some simple um, pale paper, and you can get that on Amazon as well. I think it was about two quid I paid for loads of A4 uh, pastel-coloured paper. I just cut out shapes and ideas, and this gets you really good marks uh, for AO2 because you're thinking about different ways of experimentation but you don't have to use fabric and so don't limit yourself to thinking oh I don't have the right resources so I can't respond I can't I haven't got the proper uh, fabrics or different uh, threads this is a really simple way of creating print ideas at home just using colored paper and some some pens or some paints going forward again these are all collage ideas and if you do have a sewing machine if you do have all those colored fabrics you can do it in paper and then you can start thinking about how do you how do you create that using um fabrics so you can do some applique you could do some machine embroidery um you could do a combination so you could use tissue paper and fabric together and sew it together or you could just stick to the card and the paper and cutting out of simple silhouettes and shapes absolutely love these prints all of them i would not have known about so this is a new this is the new magazine here 
and there's 353 slides so obviously I'm not going to take you through them all because um, you can do this yourself this reminds me a little bit um, Izzy of your design at GCSE when you use the cocktail umbrella sticks um, umbrellas so again think about what you can use at home to create really simple design ideas for prints and I'd really like you to focus on prints this week so going back to Pinterest then I really liked that link so loads of different ideas here but if you go there's there's also um, a little link to tutorials as well on how to draw a um, a flower a, a cherry blossom and I've been using YouTube loads since I've been off looking at different links because I don't know how to draw certain things so um, that's just a simple one here but I think if you go down I'll send you a link on how to draw cherry blossoms it's a nice American lady telling you how to do it but again just just keep going down and, 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 and clicking and see where you get to so here this is just a set of vectors that you can use don't forget you should be doing your own work but copy if you want to just sit there with um, with markers pencils copy it and it's really helpful to you I wonder if I can find that other thing so this is my favorite here go back and keep if I have created a site for you I I should have invited you best thing for you to do is get on board and accept the invitation and start adding your own your own things to it so that, that's really helpful as well it's really helpful for me to see where you're going and what you like anyway I hope this has been useful to you and I can stop the record now